Hello everyone we hope you had a wonderful holiday season. Don't worry, a lot of you have the potential to make great things happen for yourself. You have the work ethic, the drive, and the hunger for a better life. But there is one problem, you're not smart enough to connect all the dots. You don't know exactly where to begin, and no amount of motivation or confidence will change that. This is what this video is about. How to get smarter this year so you can start connecting those dots that will lead you to a better life. This is how we do it, and from now on, this will be how you do it too. Welcome to my channel. First, let's define what being smart means in this context. To some people, being smarter means having a higher IQ or being able to perform well on standardized tests. For others, being smarter means having a wider range of knowledge and being able to think critically and creatively. For us, being smart means seeing what other people cannot. It's about finding opportunities, playing the long game, and being strategic with your actions. It's about holistic thinking. Being able to see the full picture beyond the surface level and considering the long-term consequences of your actions. Being smart isn't just about being book smart or having a high IQ. It's about having a holistic perspective, being able to think creatively, and seeing opportunities where others cannot. By developing your critical thinking skills, considering the long-term consequences of your actions, and cultivating a sense of perspective, you can become smarter in a way that will help you succeed in all aspects of life. Interesting fact. Studies have shown that being bilingual or multilingual can actually make you smarter. Speaking multiple languages has been linked to improved cognitive function, problem-solving skills, and even delayed onset of dementia. At the moment you're watching this video, the world has never been more complex, and it will be even more so tomorrow. It's extremely important to cultivate a sense of holistic perspective, and you do that by getting smarter. So, let's begin with the first thing we do every day, to stay sharp. It's about holistic thinking. Being able to see the full picture beyond the surface level and considering the long-term consequences of your actions. To achieve this, you need to keep your mind sharp. Here are three ways to do that. Use your brain in a new way. Your body has an incredible ability to adapt to repetitive tasks to conserve energy. In other words, it figures out how to get to the same outcome with less effort. It's the same way with your brain. If you keep doing the same things over and over, you're not challenging your mind to grow. So, try something new, learn a new skill, play a new game, or take up a new hobby. Your brain will thank you for it. Read, watch, and listen. Make a habit of reading, watching, or listening to a piece of valuable content every single day for at least 30 minutes. It can be a newsletter, a YouTube video, or a podcast. This will give you a new perspective on how people from different backgrounds see the world and will open your thinking horizon. By exposing yourself to different ideas and points of view, you'll become smarter and more well-rounded. Challenge yourself, push yourself. Sure, I'll continue writing. Here are some more points to consider. Understanding cultural differences. Culture plays a vital role in communication. Different cultures have different communication styles, customs, and taboos. For instance, in some cultures, direct eye contact is a sign of respect, while in others, it is considered rude. It is essential to understand cultural differences to communicate effectively with people from different backgrounds. Active listening. Communication is not just about speaking, it also involves active listening. Active listening means giving your full attention to the speaker and trying to understand their point of view. It involves asking relevant questions, clarifying any doubts, and providing feedback. Active listening can help build trust and foster better relationships. Nonverbal communication Nonverbal communication includes body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice. It is said that nonverbal communication accounts for 93% of the message we convey, while verbal communication accounts for only 7%. Therefore, it is essential to pay attention to nonverbal cues to communicate effectively. Conclusion Effective communication is the key to success in both personal and professional life. It is essential to communicate clearly and effectively to avoid misunderstandings and build strong relationships. By being aware of these six points, choosing the right words, being concise, considering the audience, understanding cultural differences, active listening, and nonverbal communication, you can become a better communicator. Interesting fact. Did you know that the average person spends around 70% of their waking hours communicating? This includes reading, writing, speaking, and listening. Therefore, improving your communication skills can have a significant impact on your personal and professional life.